Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to do this quick video because I don't think I've ever shared this with you guys. Um, so this is my skid steer, my Bobcat, the T650. Uh, this machine is awesome. Actually, little news, I sold the tractor uh, this past weekend. So this coming weekend, it'll actually be getting picked up. So I won't be needing that anymore. I uh, decided I'm just going to stick with using my skid steer. But the purpose of this video is I wanted to talk about this track steer and how these tracked skid steers work on snow and ice. They do slide around and they don't get the greatest traction on ice. On snow, especially sticky snow, they work fantastic. In dirt, mud, sand, they're amazing. They can go anywhere. But the one thing that they're terrible at is when you're on ice, they just, they'll just slide away and uh, they don't hold up very well. But that being said, if you install these, they're just as good as they are on any other terrain. These are eye grips, and by no means am I sponsored by them, but I wanted to share this because this is the second year I've had this machine, and it's the second year I've used these studs because when I first got the machine, I found it was just sliding all over the place, and I'm on a hilly driveway. It's hard, kind of hard to tell in a video, I guess, but this driveway uh, slopes down pretty steep, and then it turns off, and um, it gets kind of slick and scary because there is a little bit of a drop off when you get to here before it turns and it goes down the driveway some more but um, these these studs are pretty amazing and I'll show you how they work so basically uh, let's see I'm trying to make this video so you can see it so these are the studs here and they basically screw in to the lugs of your track. Um, they also can work in rubber tires as well. So you order these uh, based on the height of the lugs of your track, the tread on your track. So I have the 25 millimeter size because my track has like one inch thick treads. So these are basically just screws with a carbide tip. They screw into the tread of the tire right down to the surface so the lip of it just sits on the edge uh, the top of the tread and it comes with the bit that you need to screw it in it comes with everything you need um, so that's pretty much how it works I never shared a video on this so I just figured I'd do a quick few minute video here just to, to talk about those but the website is igripstud.com um, I don't know if the video is backwards here the way I'm recording it, but it's igripstud.com. When I go later to uh, upload this video or when I go in later after this video is up later, I'll try to put it in a description or in the comment uh, a link to the website. But if you're curious how to find them, just Google iGrip studs and you'll find them if you have uh, rubber tires with thick treads or if you have a machine with tracks these are an absolute game changer <laughs> if you're finding you're slipping at all and it frustrates you get these studs and you won't be sorry you did um, I think they're about a dollar a stud and it takes about a hundred or so for me to put them in my machine so you figure once a year I might have to buy a package because eventually the studs come out, they pull out. You can probably remove them after the end of the winter, but I never did because I have a lot of sand and mud around here, so it helps throughout the whole year. So I figure for $100 a year, I can't really go wrong. I can get all the traction I need for $100 a year. So to me, it's worth it. So I just wanted to share that with you. Hopefully it helps somebody. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, anything about that, just contact me. Just comment on the video down below, and I will do everything I can to help you out. Stay cool. Stay warm. Uh, yeah, no, don't do that. Stay warm. Stay dry. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Take care.